traders of the world welcome back thank you all for joining me my name's tristan we're looking over the market and some potential trades that's upcoming nothing too technical i'm just sat here with some coffee i've just opened a position on the pound japanese yen and i'm just going to talk over what i'm watching to be honest not too much has happened i just, before i talk over this position i will talk over the last trade that we took a couple of trades in the last video i posted not many people watched but that's okay I'm gonna keep doing my thing. Here's the pin bar we took. A, I took a long on on US dollar Canadian dollar price move to the upside. We gained 270 pips profit for this move. I posted this onto my Twitter just for verification. 240 pips. There's from my last market analysis, and then I actually shorted the dollar also recently. Pretty much straight away after you can see the two red arrows where I took a short another 70 pips banked as you can see for the move to the downside so dollar moved pretty nicely and i do like these pin bars which is the whole point of me talking over this trade because on the pound we have this level of support here and this pin bar daily pin bar is looking perfect so we're hoping for a move to the upside it is quite oversold the uh, pound recently has moved quite aggressively to the downside we're looking for price to recover this level to hold we have a pin bar also that's three complements that's enough for us to open a position. So Sterling, go long please. And let's talk over Bitcoin briefly. It has pumped 5% and most of crypto Twitter will be up in arms over this move. You know, uh, bull market's back, 100K target is in play. You know, the bottom is in. That's what everyone's usually saying when they see this type of a uh, small action. Don't forget that the overall perspective is still pretty pretty terrible massive head and shoulder pattern and price has actually broken the neckline it hasn't actually closed on a weekly below the neckline so perhaps that's a marginal positive for bitcoin i would not advise trying to long this yet we need to see a, a more of a substantial move to the upside we need to see um support hold a re-establishment of the 32k level and some form of support with market structure. Market structure, support, and a move above 32K, key level, before I will consider buying. Let's see what happens though. We, I don't think we're gonna move much more to the upside. We could just wick back to the downside and continue nuking back down to 20K. I mean, it's very, very possible, but I just don't advise uh, longing Bitcoin at the moment. Now, a trade I posted, which I got stopped out on the other day, cryptocurrency trade on Woo USD. So Woo is is actually the broker I use to trade with. It's not like I'm getting paid to talk about this or anything. They don't know. But if you stake Woo on their platform, you get zero trading fees. Look, make, maker and taker fees, zero. And they can be on zero. You pay nothing for opening and closing a trade. If you make no profit or make no loss, you can still close a trade and not pay any fees. So that's, that's what Woo is essentially because a lot of people don't know what woo is but um huge move to the downside let me open this up huge move to the downside obviously strongly correlated with bitcoin i took a buy around this level price moved lower and did pop higher this is just an example as to why other coins and tokens are much better options to trade than bitcoin bitcoin has popped up so woo popped up along with it which we were expecting to happen it was unfortunate we got stopped out but it, it's only popped up 5%, Woo's popped up 30%. So if I wasn't stuck down that trade and I just got the timing a little bit more accurate, 30% uh, bank, it would have been a huge move and a huge gain in profit. However, we only lost a very small amount. You can see very tight stop loss there on Woo. And as I said, you know, risk and reward, I couldn't refuse. We got stopped out, unfortunate. However, you know, the, the whole, the market thesis was still intact. The move happened, so that's a credit to me, I guess. I'm still long soybeans, not looking to trade US dollar, Canadian dollar now. Uh, watching higher time frames, expecting price to continue up, but we are looking to make more moves to the downside. We, I'll probably update you again in the next video uh, when we see a week of close towards the end of this week. Perhaps we can get more of a structure then to trade off. And that is about it. Gold is being indecisive. You can see all these longs and shorts. I've been trying to hedge my overall long-term trade. It's difficult to trade at the minute. I'm not really making much of a call on gold. And finally, Euro USD. 
I used to trade Euro. Look, look at the prolific amount of trades there in a pretty, pretty dreadful market structure also. Um, so I'm coming back to Euro USD after quite some time. This level is intriguing. We do have this other level of support below. So the weekly candle is kind of a big deciding factor. Is it going to close below this trend line? Is it going to bounce? That's pretty much what I'm waiting for. Very simple technical analysis. Are we going to bounce and take a move to the upside? Are we going to close below here and take another attack at the support? If we close below that trend line there, we can definitely sh make a short position down to here. There's enough room there for um, some risk to reward ratios to be intact. Um, if we do see a rejection and a nice four hour candle to the upside, I might take a long position and hopefully bank some pips with some regains of euro, but it is looking like it's going to make fresh gains, uh, fresh lows for euro, unfortunately. So those are the ones I'm watching. I'm invested in this one, still watching Bitcoin, Woo USD, gold. I'll come back to you on and euro. But guys, that's that's just a little midweek recap to show you what's going on. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll post all my personal trades on Twitter whenever I open a position. You can just copy me, simple. I hope this helped guys and I'll be back soon with another market update. See you soon, thanks.